Grace was a woman called Grace Gibbard. She was a childhood sweetheart and for a very short time wife of a man called Joseph Mary Plunkett. Joseph Mary Plunkett was a poet and a patriot. He was the youngest of the signatories of the proclamation of 1916. As one of the signatories of course he was sentenced to death along with the other rebels and he was shot in Kilmainham jail in the very early hours of the morning sometime around five o'clock on the 4th of May 1916. A couple of hours before he was shot Grace Gifford and a priest were brought into Kilmainham jail and there in the little chapel in Kilmainham Grace Gifford married Joseph Mary Plunkett. They got married there in the little chapel. They were allowed 15 minutes together under supervision and that 15 minutes was all the married life they had together. There is a little plaque in the chapel to the right of the altar in Kilmainham jail if you ever get to visit the jail. And even though she was very young when all of this happened, Grace never remarried. She died in 1969 li living with two other old ladies in Ranela. And this is her story. As we gather in the chapel here in old Kilmainham jail, I think about these past few weeks, or will they say we failed? From our school days they have told us we must yearn for liberty. Yet all I want in this dark place is to have you here with me. Oh, Grace, just hold me in your arms and let this moment linger. They'll take me out at dawn and I will die. This wedding ring upon your finger. There won't be time to share our love, for we must say goodbye. Now I know it's hard for you, my love, to ever understand. The love I bear for these brave men, my love for this dear land. But when Padraig called me to his side down in the GPO, I had to leave my own sick bed. To him I had to go. Oh, Grace, just hold me in your arms and let this moment linger. They'll take me out at dawn and I will die. With all my love, I place this wedding ring upon your finger. There won't be time to share our love, for we must.
Say goodbye. 